Imagine an aircraft capable of flying at five times the speed of sound. This isn't a scene from science fiction, but a reality we're steadily approaching. Hypersonic travel is becoming more attainable, but what lies behind these revolutionary technologies? And is the world ready for this new era of high-speed travel? Could it be that hypersonic planes will become a critical element of national security in the coming decades? The answer may be closer than you think. And the SR-91 Aurora aircraft, rumored to have undergone upgrades by Elon Musk, might hold the key to this future. It will operate in tomorrow's high-end threat environment, and it will enable America to outmaneuver, to outpace, and to outmatch our adversaries. It will deter aggression. The SR-91 Aurora isn't just another aircraft, it's a revolutionary hypersonic vehicle that promises to transform the very nature of air travel and military operations. Although its existence has long been shrouded in secrecy, rumors about its capabilities have circulated since the 1980s. Imagine this aircraft reaching speeds exceeding Mach 5, over 3,700 miles per hour. Such a pace would allow the SR-91 to cross the Atlantic Ocean in under an hour. But now, with Elon Musk reportedly involved in the modernization of this aircraft, the scale of its development could reach new heights. Musk, known for his ambitious projects with SpaceX and Tesla, views the SR-91 as a platform to test cutting-edge hypersonic technologies. His vision goes beyond just improving speed and efficiency, he aims to bring hypersonic travel to the commercial market. In this video, we'll take a detailed look at how the SR-91 Aurora could become the symbol of a new era in aviation and the key role Elon Musk plays in its enhancement. What it might look like, it's to describe a vision more than anything else. It's to, to put something tangible in people's minds as to what. Hypersonic technologies face several serious challenges, with the primary one being the impact of extreme speeds on the aircraft. For example, when traveling at speeds exceeding Mach 5, approximately 3,830 miles per hour, the surface temperature of the vehicle can reach 980 degrees Celsius or higher. Standard materials used in modern military aircraft cannot withstand such heat, which creates the need for new, heat-resistant composites that can endure these extreme conditions without losing strength. Another significant challenge is the power systems. Traditional turbojet engines cannot sustain stable operation at these speeds due to excessive temperatures and pressure inside the engine. For instance, the F-119 turbojet engine used in the F-22 Raptor can achieve speeds of around Mach 2.25. But its design wouldn't withstand the demands of hypersonic speeds. For projects like the SR-91, hypersonic scramjet engines are being considered. These engines are capable of functioning at speeds beyond Mach 5, making them ideal for such high-speed applications. Just thing I've seen as far as aviation. Another challenge is navigation. Hypersonic flights pose massive difficulties when it comes to precise control. Traditional navigation systems lack the required accuracy at such high speeds, which significantly increases errors in trajectory calculations and delays in control system responses. As the world faces new challenges in national security, reaction speed and mobility have become critical factors. This is why developing hypersonic aircraft is of strategic importance for defense. The SR-91 Aurora, with its potential for lightning-fast delivery of information, munitions, or even conducting reconnaissance missions, could become a key tool in maintaining the U.S. technological edge amidst growing international competition. The story of the SR-91 Aurora begins in the post-Cold War era, when the United States sought new ways to surpass potential rivals in the airspace. According to unconfirmed reports, the first tests of this aircraft took place in the 1990s, but its exact capabilities remain classified to this day. However, it's believed that the Aurora was intended to replace the legendary SR-71 Blackbird, a spy plane capable of reaching speeds of Mach 3.2 about 2,170 miles per hour. The SR-91 Aurora is not just an aviation legend, but one of the most mysterious projects of the U.S. Air Force. Its design reflects cutting-edge advancements in aerospace engineering, though its precise technical specifications remain mostly classified. Estimates suggest that the aircraft is about 130 feet long with a wingspan of 65 feet, 
It features a wedge-shaped design that minimizes aerodynamic drag at hypersonic speeds, exceeding Mach 5, more than 3,720 miles per hour. The plane is also believed to be capable of reaching altitudes above 98,400 feet, making it nearly invisible to enemy radar systems. The advantages to the wing design, to the flying wing design over a traditional uh, aircraft is, is, is the replacement of that fuselage with more wing. So that creates a bigger surface area of wing, which translates into more lift. Particular attention is drawn to the hypersonic engine of the SR-91 Aurora. It's believed that the Aurora is equipped with a scramjet engine capable of operating at speeds exceeding Mach 5, where traditional turbojet engines fail due to excessive heating. For comparison, a conventional jet engine reaches temperatures of around 1,110 degrees Fahrenheit, while the Aurora's body can heat up to 3,630 degrees Fahrenheit during flight due to air friction. To withstand such extreme conditions, the aircraft uses special materials based on titanium or carbon, which can handle these temperatures. These materials not only enable the plane to endure the unusual conditions of hypersonic flight, but also improve its maneuverability. Furthermore, Elon Musk plans to use technologies from SpaceX to develop next-generation engines that will run on liquid methane and oxygen. This will significantly reduce the weight of the fuel system and increase the aircraft's range. Another important aspect is autonomy. Elon Musk is a strong advocate of artificial intelligence, and he plans to integrate an automated flight control system into the SR-91. This will not only make flights safer, but also enable the SR-91 to carry out missions without a pilot. Such a control system will allow the aircraft to avoid enemy detection systems and conduct reconnaissance missions at hypersonic speeds. The wire takes inputs from the pilot and other aircraft sensors, feeds them into a series of computers, which then produce an output to a hydraulic actuator, which moves the flight controls for it. Conspiracy theories have inevitably surrounded the SR-91 Aurora. One of the most well-known stories involves its alleged testing at Area 51, the secret U.S. military base. Witnesses have repeatedly reported seeing strange phenomena in the sky, which they mistook for UFOs. Some experts believe these sightings could actually be linked to the testing of the Aurora. There are even suggestions that the technologies used to build this aircraft were borrowed from extraterrestrial crafts, possibly recovered in Roswell in 1947. While this remains purely speculative, for many conspiracy enthusiasts, it adds an extra layer of mystery to the Aurora project. Returning to the modernization efforts, one of Musk's most impressive proposals is the use of a new engine cooling system. Traditionally, at hypersonic speeds, engine temperatures can reach thousands of degrees, posing a serious threat to their reliability. Musk suggests using liquid nitrogen for rapid cooling during flight, which would extend the engine's lifespan and prevent overheating. Additionally, this technology would allow the aircraft to stay airborne for longer periods, significantly boosting its combat effectiveness. Another revolutionary aspect is the improvement of aerodynamics. By utilizing special composite materials, Musk plans to make the SR-91's body smoother, reducing air resistance. As a result, the aircraft could reach speeds of up to Mach 8, around 6,100 miles per hour. This would make the SR-91 the fastest aircraft in the world, capable of reaching any point on the planet in just a few hours. The SR-91 Aurora is more than just another military aircraft. It's a platform that could revolutionize our understanding of air transport and combat operations. With Elon Musk's involvement in its modernization, this aircraft is set to become a symbol of a new era in aviation. Innovative materials, cutting-edge engines, and autonomous control systems will make it not only fast, but also highly efficient and safe in combat situations. This means that they can fly from New York to London in less than three hours. But these aircraft have surpassed even that. The X-59 quiet supersonic technology developed by none other than NASA itself can fly at supersonic speeds of over 2,850 miles per hour, minimizing sonic impact. What does this mean? The fact that it can silently penetrate enemy territory like a bullet without being detected. In turn, the X-44 Manta is an even more innovative, tailless aircraft with such high maneuverability that even homing missiles flying at 1,860 miles per hour will not be able to hit it. 
Thus, we get an incredibly fast and silent reconnaissance aircraft that can fly over enemy territory, recording every movement with the most accurate radar, and an ultra-maneuverable invisible fighter that'll destroy all these targets with a volley of powerful missiles. However, the prerequisites for the readiness of U.S. fighter jets are very high, and recent events have pushed for this. The U.S. intelligence services have recently caught a top official who was leaking classified U.S. government data directly to China. Against this backdrop, Beijing has decided to tighten sanctions against the West. In addition, Chinese reconnaissance drones were spotted flying over the territory of some states, including Montana. And a little earlier, there was almost a direct clash between the two countries' ships and the waters off the Philippines. In short, tensions have been rising throughout the year, which has led to what we have, the most secret and advanced X-44 Manta and X-59 quiet supersonic fighters of the United States are ready to show their full power to Beijing. And now comes the moment when the theoretical battle between these countries seems not so theoretical at all. China is deploying warships and J-20 fighter jets near disputed islands in the South China Sea. The threat of escalation is becoming real, and the United States may well respond. I propose to imagine what the outcome of this event will be if the latest X-59 and X-44, ready to perform special missions, take over. The first to get down to business is the intelligence staff, the main weapon of which is the X-59. And speaking of weapons, I was not mistaken because this is the first reconnaissance aircraft to be able to carry the HARM missile, which allows it to hit the radar of the enemy, undermining its defense capabilities. According to American data, the missile is capable of hitting both continuous and pulsed radars, or simply put, any existing radar. The command orders the X-59 to take off. Its mission is covert reconnaissance. Thanks to a unique technology to reduce sonic boom, this aircraft can fly undetected at supersonic speeds of 2,850 miles per hour over enemy positions. It collects critical intelligence by recording the location of ships and air defense systems without attracting attention. While the X-59 is carrying out its mission, the X-44 Manta is preparing for a possible collision. This fighter can reach speeds of over 1,860 miles per hour and is highly maneuverable due to its tailless design. Its main task is to suppress Chinese J-20 fighters if they try to intercept the X-59. Chinese systems detect activity and the J-20s take to the air. So the battle has begun. Due to its low radar visibility, the X-59 is almost invisible to Chinese radar. Its main task is to reconnoiter and disrupt air defense systems, making it an ideal means of disrupting the lines of defense before the main forces engage. Launching harm missiles, it destroys radar after radar, staying safe because of its enormous speed. The enemy has no choice but to attack with its J-20s, and the only target it can see is the X-44. But can it be hit? The J-20 can launch missiles capable of flying at a speed of no more than 1,980 miles per hour, which would be enough to intercept Manta, but due to its incredible maneuverability, the X-44 can knock them off course or evade them altogether. The first volley of missiles will fly by and the Manta will engage the Chinese J-20 fighters directly. In addition to its speed, it's equipped with an advanced control system that increases its stability at high speeds, and it has an arsenal of supersonic missiles and several anti-ship missiles that'll come in handy later. Let's not forget about camouflage. Its coating can conceal the presence of a fighter jet even if the radar is at a distance of six miles, which is very little given the flight altitude of 72,200 feet. On the other hand, Chinese J-20s, which also have stealth technology, can reach speeds up to Mach 2, i.e. 1,500 miles per hour, have good maneuverability, but most importantly, they have a numerical advantage. Together, they provide strong competition. J-20s are equipped with advanced weapon systems, including long-range missiles and advanced radars, which give them an advantage in long-range combat. In this confrontation, the stake is placed on speed, stealth, and maneuverability. The X-44 engages in close combat, dodging J-20 missiles while destroying the enemy one by one. Meanwhile, the X-59 completes its reconnaissance missions, transmitting important data to coordinate strikes and finishing off the remaining radars. 
Thanks to their well-coordinated work and superiority in many characteristics, the X-44 and X-59 successfully cope with all the difficulties, and there's only one target left, to sink the main enemy ship, which Manta will do because it has the weapons to do so. This supersonic confrontation in the South China Sea shows who really has the real power. The United States has demonstrated the power of the X-59 and X-44, and I'll not be surprised if these aircraft become the new standard, the benchmark for other countries. Air technology like this is strong on its own, but in tandem, it's just something that can't be beaten without the same tandem. Such a conflict is prompting China and other countries to accelerate the development of new sixth-generation supersonic fighters, which may lead to new technological breakthroughs and an increase in global tension. Perhaps this arms race will not lead to anything positive and it would be better to slow down. But as we can see, it's very difficult to stop this train. Chinese military experts are already reviewing air combat strategies because they need to urgently adapt air defense systems, so we're preparing to see something from China that can shoot down even the ultra-maneuverable X-44. Be that as it may, we can only watch and marvel at how interesting and powerful technologies humanity has right now. And that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to like and comment. By the way, here's something to think about. Is the arms race good or bad? After all, one way or another, competition drives technology forward. And without it, we'd be stuck. I think this is an interesting topic for discussion in the comments. In the meantime, thank you for watching and see you soon.